What's going on everybody? It's Jake over here at Midstate Mitsubishi. As you can see, we're getting into our 2023 Outlander plug-in hybrid EV over here. Um, I got it all charged up and I got a nice empty parking lot to kind of go around with since I'll be holding the camera with my hand. And let's get into it. All right, so we are in the cabin of our lovely 2023 Outlander plug-in hybrid. You can see we got our XM trial going. Um, up here we have a 12.3 inch digital meter cluster. So replacing the old analog gauges that most other cars still have, but soon will be obsolete. So over here on the left side, we're gonna have our, uh, think of it as a tachometer almost. So up here, this is almost gonna tell you how much gas power you're using. It's almost like an RPM gauge for the engine, but it's really equivalent to kilowatts that you're using. Uh, to the left side over here, you have our EV zone, kind of show you how much EV juice you're using. And down here, we have our charge zone. So you'll notice as we let off of the gas pedal on this and start to coast, or if you uh, hit your brakes, or what we're in here for this video for, use these neat little paddle shifters on either side. That will also put you in the green. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So first off, on our shifter here, you'll notice we have park, reverse, neutral, and then drive. You know what those do. And there's a B down there. Uh, B is new to a lot of people, especially if you're just getting into one of these. So when I'm in drive, when I first shift it, you got a regular drive there. Now, if I were to put it into drive again, as odd as that sounds, it'll go into B. Um, B stands for brake. So that's how much regenerative braking you're using. So you'll see currently we're on B3. That is the default setting for the regenerative braking on this vehicle. And now you adjust that by using these neat little paddle shifters here on the steering wheel. So if you ever had a car with paddle shifters that almost act as more of a manual transmission on a regular gas powered engine, um, they'll act kind of similar. When you hit the left one, it goes down a gear. It kind of feels like when you're driving it. But to some, it may be confusing on this gauge. As I go down, the number goes up. Um, so that's kind of to encourage slowing down. When you hit the left side, it's more of slowing down. Now when I hit the right side, it's less strong. So you'll have a B5 through B0 on this vehicle. B0 is the least amount of regenerative braking that's going to be used, um, just as if you're coasting a normal drive. Whereas B5 is actually strong enough where it will turn the brake lights on because it's slowing down that rapidly. Um, so this is gonna save you some wear and tear on your brakes. It's also gonna put some excess charge back into your battery that would normally be wasted through braking. Um, so B4 and B5 will initiate your brake lights. And we got this nice parking lot here. I got my seatbelt fastened, so we're gonna get into it. So now if you ever wanna take the car out of regenerative braking, you just wanna drive it like normal. You don't have to worry about the car kinda slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up. If I hold this positive paddle shifter down for a second or two, it goes back to regular drive. Or if you keep shifting this thing from drive to brake to drive to brake, it'll go back to you know regular drive, brake, drive. So we're gonna go get this thing up to maybe 20 miles an hour in this parking lot. We're gonna slow down using our paddles over here. And we're going to show you how this works. So let's take off. So we're cruising around this nice empty parking lot, nice and safe. I had a little phone holder set up so I could use this on the road. Um, however, it would not stay in place. So we're just going around this nice empty parking lot. So as we go down here, we're doing what, 50 miles an hour? Now, as I downshift, hit my little left paddle shifter over here, you're going to notice it slows all the way down in that little green indicator comes on and we'll take it right out of regenerative braking because we're almost stopped already now we're going to turn this fine automobile around and as i go back this way we'll get it up a little bit faster through here so we can get a little more juice put back into the engine get to about 20 here and now as i hit my paddles you notice as i slow down go down and regenerate braking strength, that green lights up more. And again, this whole time I've never even hit my brake pedal. I'm just cruising around using only the gas pedal and these paddles. So we'll put it back into a regular mode. Now something else we have on this vehicle is our one touch pedal system. So that's pretty neat. It's going to actually kind of put it to the point where the car feels like it's in B4 or B5 all the time. Um, so Mitsubishi just added this in for the 2023 model year. I haven't seen it much elsewhere yet. We have our neat little button here. So we have our drive modes with the EV. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. And then we have our one touch pedal system. So if I hit this button, there's a neat little indicator that came on down there in the dash. And ready just means the car's ready to drive. 
And actually it won't even let you put it into B with this because it's already regenerative braking every time you let off the gas. So these paddles, essentially useless when you have the one touch system on because it, it's already on. It has the default regenerative braking strength and it feels again like you're in B4 or B5 all the time. So uh, this will be good on roads where there's kind of a lot of stop and go, a lot of slowing down, speeding up, some, some of your nice curvy back roads where you're doing 30 on the straights and 20 around the corners, or even through the city when you're constantly doing 20 miles an hour and then stopping, 20 miles an hour and stopping. Now, as I let off the gas pedal here, boom, slows right down to green. Again, it feels like we're in B5. The car just feels like it's braking. So we speed up and then we let off it, boom, dies back down. So again, this will be great in your city environment, anywhere where there's a lot of slowing up and speeding down. Because again, normally you'd kind of just be wasting all your juice, hitting your brakes, hitting your gas, hitting your brakes, hitting your gas. And then in this one, we'll speed back up here after this corner. And as I let off the brake, woo, goes down to green. And that means we're putting some juice back into this battery. Um, so there's your one touch pedal system. And we have our paddle shifters as we were kind of going over before. So let's put this thing into a stop. And now if you want to take off the one touch pedal system, just hit our little button right here. It goes back into there and we can drive it like normal again. And we just had to take it up a little bit in speed just to show you how much juice you can actually charge back into this. So you got B3, B4, and B5. And look how much charge this thing is generating on this car. And as I hit the brakes too, you see it charges it even more. So there we have our innovative paddle shifters and our innovative one touch pedal system. Uh, both are great for everyday use of your plug-in hybrid. This is a car that the more you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. You know, you have some people, they just drive it like a normal car, which is fine. It's still great and comfortable, still gets great gas mileage. But if you're using these paddles, using this one touch pedal system, if you're plugging it in every night, if you're prioritizing which modes to put the car in, as you're driving it. Not only does it make it a little more fun, uh, but you're gonna get the most out of it. Uh, we have customers, they brag about getting 120 miles per gallon just because of the way they're driving it. You know, you, you're still good to get 64 MPGE all day in this car, um, but the more you use these systems, like your paddle shifters, um, when to use your drive modes in this car, and your pedal system down here, you're really gonna get the most out of this car, and I think you're gonna enjoy it a heck of a lot more. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, any suggestions or any other questions you may have on the car, just drop them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you.